if you read the Bible, if you actually touch it and open it up, if you actually read just any book, you could even read Second John or Jude, two if not the most smallest books in the Bible. And you'll get the idea that Jesus Christ didn't die so you could keep on sinning. Oh, but brother, oh no, we're under grace now. We're not under the law. We're not under, we're not under the law. Don't put me back under the law. Jesus died. I'm able to keep sinning. I believe in Jesus. Nope. Not how it works, guys. If you believe in Jesus, if you truly believe in Jesus, not just believing in him like the demons and the devil do, if you love Jesus, you'll keep his commandments. John 14, 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Red letters. Let's get on to the point. Jesus didn't die so you could keep on sinning. He died so that you could have the power to stop sinning. Now, we're going to be looking at the book of Acts. We're going to be looking at books that um, were written, Jesus Christ died and rose again. Books that pertain to the covenant that we're living in now. Not that, um, you know, all the books, all the books in the Bible do, but you know what I mean. This is talking about the law we're under now, the dispensation we're under now, the book of Acts, the letters that Paul wrote, and the other letters in the New Testament, the other books in the, in the New Testament. All right, let's go to Acts 3.26. This is what it says. Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. It doesn't say that God blessed us to raise up his son Jesus so that we could keep on turning to our iniquities. It says in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you for your word. All right, let's go to Titus 2, starting at 11. Okay, you want to know what the grace of God is? The grace of God is this. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to, to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. That's what the grace of God is. The grace of God isn't for you to keep on sinning. The grace of God isn't, oh, loving Jesus, giving you more chances to sin. The grace of God isn't that Jesus Christ died so that you could live a sinful lifestyle. The grace of God is that God is giving you time to turn from sin and to live righteously according to the law of Christ. According to the Holy Spirit, the guiding of the Holy Spirit. The guiding of his word. Right? Acts 26... 18. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Acts 26 19. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision but showed first unto them of Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coast of Judea and then to the Gentiles that they should repent 
and turn to God and do works meet for repentance. Works meet for repentance. Now I know when you read it, when John the Baptist says, show works meet for repentance. I know you thought, oh, thank goodness, this was before Jesus died and rose again. Thank goodness, I don't need to show me it works meet for repentance anymore. Well, I hate to break it to you. God brings it up again in his word after Jesus Christ died and rose again. God still requires the same thing. To do works meet for repentance. If you're born again, if you're saved by grace, you're going to be led to do good works. You're going to be led to turn from sin. You're going to want to turn from sin. You're not going to like it. If you do fall into it, you're going to want to run straight back to God. Let's continue reading. For these causes the Jews caught me in the temple and went about to kill me. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come. Praise the Lord. Um, guys, the Bible, the old prophets of old, Jesus didn't come to abolish them. He came to fulfill the law and the prophets. That's why in the book Facts we see the disciples quoting the Old Testament. They don't go around saying, oh, this is in the Old Testament. We don't need to follow it now. Oh, everybody, don't worry. Just believe in Jesus Christ and don't worry about the Old Testament. No. The apostles in the book of Acts, here we see um, it being said that they say no other things than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come. Just like the prophets of old told the, pe the inhabitants in the earth to turn from sin, just like the apostles in the book of Acts were preaching turning from sin, God is preaching that to you right now in his word. Jesus Christ remains the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Hallelujah. Take care. Take care. Oh, hallelujah. Our redemption draws nigh. What are you going to do about it?